In this video, I'm going to complete example two. A company's shares have a market value of $24.76. So we're going to complete question A, which says, what dividend will shareholders receive per share if the dividend yield is 4.2%? Now, I mentioned earlier that dividend yield and dividend are basically the same thing. The difference being that a dividend is a dollar amount and the dividend yield is a percentage. So if the market value is $24.76, then the dividend must be 4.2% of this amount. All right, how do we do that? Well, we can just go 4.2, divide 100, and multiply it by the amount of $24.76. Let's do that now. 4.2 divide 100 times $24.76 and we get if we round it to the nearest cent a dollar and four cents this means for each share you own you're going to receive a dividend of a dollar and four cents let's now move on to question B the company decided to pay a dividend of a dollar 65 per share calculate the dividend yield. Once again, as I said before, the dividend represents a dollar amount and the dividend yield represents a percentage. So how do we calculate a percentage? Well, what we do is we take the dividend and we put this over the market value. And whatever we get, we multiply it by 100. Now, usually you'll see a percentage here, and I'll talk about that soon. So our dividend is $1.65. Our market value is $24.76. And we multiply this by 100. So I'll bring up the calculator. 1.65 divide 24 point seven six times one hundred equals we'll round it to two decimal places so we get six point six six and we need to put a percentage at the end of it now usually when you see the formula when they say times a hundred they say times a hundred percent and that seems to throw some people off because they think oh, if I times it by a hundred percent then I'm really not changing anything what they're really meaning is times it by a hundred and then place the percentage at the end of it. That's what they mean when they say times by 100%. Anyway, that concludes example two. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.